Hello, everyone. My name is David Miller. Jeff has asked me to share my thoughts on what's going on down in Terra, Texas. So I will do my best to try to not disappoint you. I have over 20 years experience in the construction trades, both residential and commercial. I know a lot of things about a lot of things. About the most notable thing I'm seeing is I think we're starting to get some idea what final grade is going to look like here. If you remember, the road came in under the power line, perpendicular to the power line and in the main area here, and is almost perpendicular to 130. They are currently cutting that down. And I think our indicator for final grade is the next area over where there's that long ridge and what we were calling the central pond area. Uh, it looks like they've cut a ramp up through there and made a flat top out of it. But when you go to the other end of the field and look back on that, you'll see that that's not really an upsloping ramp, that that looks more level to the terrain. So I think that's a pretty good indication of where a final grade is going to end up. Another point of interest is you notice further down the field uh, where there is that still a strip of greenery and then a little bit higher area, uh, you'll see several mounds down there. And in those mounds are some grade stakes, if you look close. So that's where they staked it out initially, and it took some, uh, I'm sure, some elevation readings there. And they are carving that down. So if anybody's wondering what those little bumps are out there, that's grade stakes that were placed to use for reference. Another point of interest I'd like to direct your attention to is there is a power line that is running across the property. And I'm not talking about the big distribution line towers. I'm talking about smaller, probably 13-8 line. Uh, comes in from the substation, goes through this lower swamp, and cuts across the uh, cleared part of the property, kind of where the point is in that larger area on the south end. I strongly suspect that the electric company is going to be moving that pretty soon because it looks like the work that they have in mind down here, they're not going to be able to leave those poles in place. I think that has to come down too much over there. So I strongly suspect that we're going to see that moved as soon as the electric company can get to it. And we all know what the electric company's like. They're only fast on two things. Uh, the first thing they're fast on is getting the bell out. And then on their storm damage, they're pretty good about getting it cleaned up. When it comes to other work, they kind of drag their heels. So we'll see how that shapes up. Somebody's got to form a work order, and somebody else has to do it. We see over on the front main pond area, someone had their thinking cap on when they created a pass through that large mound. So now these over-the-road belly dumps can come in and actually be moving downhill when they dump their load, and then that way they probably have enough power and traction to get off the dump and not need a push. Every once in a while one needs a push, but uh, for the most part, they can just drive through. You know, I really got to hand it to the project manager on this job. That's a very, very well orchestrated ballet of equipment running out there. All in all, this job is shaping up very quickly and very nicely. And I got to say, I'm impressed.